Good evening. He's an Albuquerque nurse practitioner by training, but the New Mexico Attorney General says Andre Marchenko acted more like a drug dealer by overprescribing opioids and they're charging him in the death of three patients. News 13's Chris McKee has more on the case. Yeah, Jessica, it is a rare case that the AG's office cracked after the DA first started looking into it about two years ago. In one of the cases tied to this broader case, Marchenko is accused of continuing to prescribe opioids to the sister of a woman who died of an overdose. He was basically a drug dealer with a license to kill. That's how Attorney General Hector Balderas is describing Andre Marchenko, the Albuquerque nurse practitioner who worked at the Medicus Clinic on Montgomery near Wantabo, who's now accused of overprescribing addictive medications that contributed to patients' deaths. We can't just trust doctors outright anymore. These, these drugs are just too dangerous. The AG's case against Marchenko comes two years after he voluntarily gave up his license to prescribe opioids once the DEA caught on to his practices and methods that the AG says brought death. We have three individuals who lost their life. The AG's office alleges Marchenko spent years overly prescribing narcotics like oxycodone and alprazolam to patient after patient without checking medical records to see if the pain pills that victims asked for were truly needed. Yeah, this case is about greed and uh, he was putting lives at risk uh, just to make the sale. In one case, investigators found Marchenko's patient had died, but that patient somehow surprisingly kept coming back for more appointments after she was confirmed dead. Agents busted the woman doing it, who admitted she was falsely using her dead sister's identity to get pain pills from Marchenko. This is us ratcheting up the level of accountability not only to distributors, but also to people who do prescribe these medications. Now, in all, Marchenko is charged with causing three deaths and causing two overdoses where patients didn't die. His charges carry a potential of more than 60 years in prison. Jessica. All right. Thank you, Chris. Agents have put out a warrant for Marchenko's arrest, but we learned tonight that he hasn't lived in his Albuquerque home in a couple of years and his whereabouts are unclear. Thunder